Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica IDMC MDM SAS. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about record deletion in MDM SAS. What are the things we need to consider before deleting the record? And we are going to have a demo about deleting the record. So let's get started. Before going to start, I really appreciate if you can subscribe my channel and like this video. So let's get started. Now let's learn about record deletion in MDM SAS. The record deletion in MDM SAS and on-premise MDM version is totally different. When we delete a master or source record in MDM SAS, the record status changes from active to deleted. In case of on-premise version, we have column or field called hot state indicator and it has values such as 1, minus 1 and 0. In case of MDM SAS, we have the field call record status. Now whenever we delete a record in MDM SAS, the record will not be physically deleted from the data store. It will be still there, only the status will change from active to deleted. Here important thing to remember, whenever we delete any record in MDM SAS, we cannot update such record. So, updation is restricted for deleted record. Now, important things. First thing is, what will happen when we delete the master record? Whenever we delete a master record, the status of the source record will remain active. This is very critical behavior you have to keep in mind. In case, if we delete the source record, what will be the impact on the master record? Whenever we delete a source record and if the given master record has more than one source record, in that case, the status of the master record will remain active as long as one of the source record is active. Now what will be the impact on the trust score? The trust score of the master field will be recalculated if you delete any one of the source record. Now what will happen if you delete both master and source record. In such cases, the trust recalculated based on the deleted record and the final values of the trusted values will be populated to the master record. If all contributing records, especially the all the contributing source and the customer 360 SAS source records are deleted, then master record will also automatically delete it. You don't have to take any special action to delete such master record. So these are the few important things about the master record. As we know the master record or business entity record is not independent record. It can be associated with multiple objects such as we might have the relationships or we might using the one of the business entity record in the another business entity record or we might have configured hierarchies. So how deletion will impact in such cases? Whenever we delete a master record within a relationship, in that case, customer 360 SAS removes that relationship. So we're not able to see that relationship in UI. The relationship graph and related records, there is a section will not going to show that relationship or that connections. In case of if you're using the deleted record in a, a different business entity field, then the deleted record will disappear from that field value and when you try to open it, it will show as a deleted. In case of hierarchy, the record and in its a relationship with the child records are removed and these relationships are not permanently deleted from the data store as like our the original record. So the relationship will be just marked as a deleted or the status will be marked as a deleted. You can still recover those or you can still re restore those records, which we are going to see in our next tutorial. Now, how can we achieve the deletion? There are two ways currently available in MDM SAS by using which we can delete the record. We can use the file import option to change the status of the records from active to deleted, or we can open individual record and delete those record individually. Normally, data steward prefer the second option where they can review the record before deleting. Now, what will be the impact on the searching? So once the records are deleted, 
you cannot see in the search results because search result shows only the active records. However, there is a filter criteria which can be used to view the deleted record. The next and the very important aspect of record deletion. So how this record deletion is related with the source ranking? Source ranking is important for trust and survivorship. But how it is related to the deletion? Now, whenever we delete the master record, it depends on the rank of source system called customer 360. So if this customer 360 source system has highest rank, then and then we can delete the master record. If Informatica customer 360 source has lower rank, then we cannot delete master record. We have to delete all the source record before making the master record in the deleted state. Let's consider the example. Assume that we have three records in our system which are match and merge and created one master record. Two records are coming from two different source systems such as HR and CRM and third record is getting created using Informatica Customer 360 source. So HR and CRM will have the rank 1 and rank 2 and the third search system that is customer 360 will have rank 3. In such case, if you try to delete a master record, the deletion process will fail because the customer 360 has a lower rank. Now these are the important things you need to keep in mind before deleting the record in MDM SAS. Now let's go ahead and have the demo about deletion. In order to delete a record, we have accessed Customer 360 application and we search few records. On the left hand side, we can see the record state indicator and on the right hand side, we can see the search results. Let's go ahead and open one of this record called Test2 record. Here, in order to delete a master record, master record we can see under the record details and the source record we can see under the source record. In order to delete the master record, we have to go to these three dots and from here we can click on delete. As I mentioned, the record will not be physically deleted, only the record state will change. Let's go ahead and click on delete. Now, if you search this record, again, it will not show in the search result. However, if you can see the deleted option is enabled. If you select that, we can see the deleted record here. So now the status has changed from active to deleted. Let's go ahead and open this record. On the right hand side, we see that status has deleted. We are going to open this record. Let's go ahead and check the status of source record. For that, I'll select the source record as a tab. Let's go ahead and expand system fields. Here, we can see the record state indicator. It is deleted for master record, but it is active for both of these source record. Now, how can we delete these source records? In order to delete source records, we have to go to these three dots. From these actions, we can select delete. Once we select the delete as an option, it will show us two check boxes for the source record. We can select either one or both of these record, and then we can click on this delete button. Select the delete. Let's go ahead and expand system fields. And now we can see the second record is also deleted. Same way we can perform deletion for all the records. I hope this tutorial is helpful to understand the record deletion behavior in MDM SAS. If you have any questions or queries about Informatica IDMC, feel free to mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a wonderful time.